A beautiful circus performer finds herself in a precarious situation after the arrival of a mysterious being severely impacts her once mundane existence. Long before humans, a vast array of creatures have existed during Earth's many eras. As numerous beasts have thrived and evolved, one entity has yet to develop, lacking the perfect vessel to latch onto as it searches for millennia. It finally reached Africa, traveling from different hosts until hunters captured its latest vessel, a leopard. The animal is sent via ship to human civilization and sold as merchandise. In France, a truck drives into a plot of land, carrying cargo for the circus owner, Lawman. Inside a trailer home, Yanka steps on a weight scale and notes the result on a piece of paper on the wall. Outside, the truck driver peeks into the trailer while searching for Lawman, when he spots Yanka from one of the windows. Lawman emerges from the trailer and confronts the man for peeping on his wife. They hear the circus animals reacting to something in the truck, so Lawman asks the driver what he brought him and the man says it's an animal. Lawman and the driver peek into the cargo truck and immediately make a transfer transaction. The shipment is a new leopard for the circus's animal show. They transfer it into their cage as the workers excitedly welcome the new acquisition. Meanwhile, the driver steals glances at the beautiful Yanka, who comes out to observe the commotion outside. The driver apologizes to the woman for what happened earlier. Then he starts flirting and vying for her attention while Lawman watches them from afar. As Yanka joins her husband, the leopard starts acting strangely, aggressively trying to escape the cage. Lawman tells everyone to leave the animal alone so it can calm down. Later, the tamer tries to train three tigers for their next performance. Lawman arrives and admonishes Yanka for her lateness before pushing her into the performance area. Moments later, the tamer thinks something's agitating the tigers. In the middle of practice, one of the tigers jumps over the frightened woman, so she runs away in fear. The driver follows her outside the tent and the two share a passionate kiss. When they sense Laman approaching, the driver escapes, leaving Yanka in a compromising position. Her husband sees her and slaps her across the face. Later that night, Yanka sleeps in bed while Laman does some accounting. Suddenly, he hears a commotion outside and goes to investigate. The circus owner sees the woeful tamer, who tells him that the new leopard died after something burst out from the animal's body. Upon seeing the grotesque animal remains, Lawman rounds up his workers to find the mysterious creature. Unbeknownst to them, the parasitic slug-like creature enters through Yanka's trailer roof and it slithers towards the bed and enters her body. Lawman notices the dog barking at his trailer and goes back inside. He sees Yanka sleeping soundly on the bed, undisturbed. The next day, the unwell Yanka throws up in the bathroom. She checks her weight, surprised that she's gained over 4 pounds in one day. Later, Yanka heads to the hospital to get checked. Seeing the result of her test, Yanka wanders anxiously back to the circus. She sees her husband fighting with another circus worker, and Yanka caresses her womb, worried about the future. Fearing for her child's safety, Yanka packs her clothes and steals Lawman's money. She then leaves in a hurry to catch the train. Days after, a cab driver tells Lawman about a woman he dropped off in the sketchy part of town. The driver recalls how unstable she seemed and how she was muttering to herself. The taxi drops him off and Laman enters the destitute building, searching for his wife. On the top floor, the man finds Yanka in her red robe. He hugs and kisses his wife, begging her to come home. Behind her back, Yanka holds a kitchen knife. Suddenly, the woman stabs his abdomen and Laman falls to the ground. Unhinged, she asks what she's supposed to do next. Then, she raises her knife above Laman, poised to slay the man, but Yanka begs someone not to make her do it. Unable to finish the act, the woman throws the knife and moves away from her husband. Laman grabs her robe and the clothless Yanka runs and screams in terror. Yanka starts talking to herself and a demonic voice from the woman's womb answers and taunts her to slay her husband. The following day, Yanka wakes up and drinks water from the rain leaking from the ceiling. The woman saunters to Laman and retrieves her red robe. Suddenly, the voice speaks up and says it's hungry for Laman's blood. Yanka immediately holds her belly, aware that it's her child's voice. It tells its mother that it needs to feed to be able to grow, but Yanka is reluctant to comply. However, the child threatens to burst out from her body if she doesn't feed it. Yanka takes the fork and tries to stab her belly, but the creature hurts her from within. The woman falls to the ground, throwing up blood as she crawls the Laman's body. The excruciating pain forces Yanka to slice up her deceased husband and drink his blood. That night, Yanka wakes to the sound of chaos in the building, so her child immediately warns her of the danger and she flees the building. In an alley, the creature tells her to slit a beggar's throat, so Yanka slowly takes a broken bottle and creeps toward the unsuspecting man. Determined to resist the creature's orders, she walks toward the river and jumps in to drown herself. The baby begs frantically for Yanka to save herself, swearing that it'll never hurt her again. Later, Yanka sits beside the river, wrapped in a thick blanket. 
Her child apologizes and tries to convince her that it isn't a monster by saying it talks and thinks like a human. Later, a truck passes by and the driver says she can hitch a ride with him. On the road, the man starts telling the uninterested Yanka his life story when they stop by a gas station. Unable to break through Yanka's steely exterior, the driver tells her to change her clothes in the gas station while he fuels up the truck. However, the man only wants her out of the vehicle as he's already convinced two other women to ride in his truck instead. He leaves Yanka at the gas station and her child remarks about how cruel the world of man can be. Two months later, a man named Richard enters a restaurant and gets in line. Upon reaching the cashier, he starts begging forgiveness for his infidelity from the angry Reset, his lover. After charming the woman, Richard asks for cash and gets his lunch free of charge. The man sits on one of the tables when he catches a glimpse of the beautiful Yanka who works in the restaurant bussing tables. Moments later, Yanka saunters downstairs as the enamored man follows her. Unable to see in the dark, Richard trips and falls to the ground screaming. Rosette hears the noise and asks him what he's doing in the empty downstairs dining area, so Richard lies and says he was looking for the restroom. When the couple leaves, Yanka and the creature express their disappointment for missing out on the opportunity to feed on the clueless man. Later, Rosette waits outside the restaurant for her lover to pick her up from work when she notices a bloody napkin on the ground. Meanwhile, the creature tells Yanka to find their next victim at a nearby restaurant. Minutes later, Richard arrives and joins her at the table, and her child remarks how easy it is to lure human men. During the meal, the babbling, arrogant man's stories bore Yanka and the creature. Richard shows her a picture of when he worked as a circus clown and asks if she's done anything significant in her life. Yanka tears up and despondently says she's done nothing noteworthy at all. They leave the restaurant and Richard walks her home. He tries to get her to let him come inside, but Yanka refuses and reasons that she feels ill. The next day, Rosette tries to call Richard, but the man doesn't answer. She begins to suspect Yanka as she sees the woman descend the stairs into the empty dining area. That night, Yanka roams the streets and spots a prospective victim. She follows him into a building and the man asks Yanka why she's been following him. The beguiled man makes out with Yanka just before she stabs his neck with a blade. Suddenly, people filling out of a nearby door sees them, so she kisses the dying man on the lips and pretends they're in a passionate embrace to avoid suspicion. Yanka runs away to avoid getting caught and the man perishes. She reaches her apartment and sees Richard waiting for her by the stairs. They then spend the night together making love. The following morning, Yanka wakes up and takes a cigarette from Richard's pocket. The creature admonishes her for smoking while pregnant and orders her to stop. Having had enough of the creature's authoritarian control over her body, Yanka threatens to stab her stomach with a pair of scissors. Hearing her angry screeches, Richard enters the kitchen, interrupting her crazed behavior. He expresses his desire for their relationship to continue and even wishes to marry and raise a family with her. Unhinged, Yanka stabs the poor man in the stomach as he screams in agony. All of a sudden, Rosette comes knocking on Yanka's door, demanding to see her cheating lover. Yanka lets her in and she enters the dark kitchen. In a panic, Yanka locks Rosette in the room and escapes the building. Rosette bangs on the door, demanding Yanka to let her out. Suddenly, the refrigerator door opens and Richard, gasping his last breath, begs her for help. The terrifying sight compels Reset to scream in fear. Six months later, a man hails a taxi cab driven by Yanka. He tells her to turn right, but the woman ignores his instructions, determined to chase down her target, a jogger. The passenger demands the woman let him out, but Yanka elbows him in the face to subdue him. After she sideswipes the jogger, Yanka corners the man before violently crushing him with a vehicle. Then she gets out of the car and delivers a blow to the victim's neck with a heavy metal tool, decapitating him. Her passenger regains consciousness and sees the grotesque scene. In fear, he scrambles to escape but gets hit by an oncoming truck. After some time, the creature asks its mother if she's developed any affection for him, to which the woman admits that she has. However, her fear of its monstrosity prevents her from fully accepting the child as she dreams of its horrifying birth. One day, Yanka's car breaks down and a helpful man offers to fix her vehicle. Suddenly, the woman throws up blood, scaring the mechanic. He stops the taxi and asks the driver to take her to the nearest hospital, believing she's about to give birth. Despite Yanka not wanting to go to the hospital, the man assures she'll be there soon. The woman grabs his arm, making him lose control of the wheel and crashing the vehicle into a wall. Yanka escapes, but her extreme exhaustion causes her to faint. Later, she wakes up on a couch as a kind older woman looks after her. However, Yanka chokes the woman with a telephone cord and escapes through the window. Yanka cries as she asks the child what's happening to her, and the creature says she'll be giving birth soon. The pregnant woman learns that her child wants to return to the sea after the delivery because it's where it came from. 
It'll stay in the ocean for millennia to evolve until it reaches a form capable of taking over the planet. To complete the creature's manifestation, the child needs more blood and asks its mother to hijack a blood transfusion bus. Yanka succeeds by using a toy gun, threatening all the doctors and donors to leave the bus, except for one man. She snatches and drinks the blood bags, satisfying the creature's hunger. To take her child to the sea, Yanka steals the bus and drives away. While the woman's driving, the weakened man at the back of the bus sneaks up and grabs Yanka, causing the vehicle to crash. Soon, an ambulance rescues Yanka, but the man on the bus perishes. The medic tries to resuscitate the woman with CPR, but finally stops when he's unable to detect a pulse. Meanwhile, the creature inside her starts to feel the coldness of her body and fears that its mother is dying. Determined to keep Yanka alive, the creature makes Yanka's heart beat again, waking the pregnant woman. She attacks the medic by filling him up with pressurized gas, causing his body to explode. The ambulance driver hears the commotion and stops the vehicle to investigate, but Yanka bashes him in with an oxygen tank. Suddenly, the woman's abdomen contracts as she goes into labor. Yanka starts to push the child out and, after her efforts, finally brings forth a human baby. Later, she steals a minivan from an unsuspecting man who stopped to check the road map. She drives the car while trying to ask her child what she's expected to do next. However, the child can't communicate with her anymore. In the middle of their journey, they run into car trouble, so Yanka stops by a gas station. She leaves the child in the car and a passing traveler hears its cries. He approaches the car and sees the baby through the window. All of a sudden, the monster grabs the traveler and pulls him into the vehicle to devour him. Hearing the man's screams, Yanka immediately runs back to the car, but all she finds is the lifeless man and the creature's discarded human skin. Yanka finds a trail of blood leading to a bus full of soccer players. She begs the driver for a ride so she can secretly search for the creature. Later, one of the players wakes up and sees Yanka, and he immediately alerts the others of the woman's presence. The men harass and touch her inappropriately while she desperately tries to warn them of the dangerous creature. Unbeknownst to all the passengers, the creature sneaks up on and attacks the driver. The man loses control of the bus, so Yanka breaks free of the man's grasp and runs to the wheel to confront it. Then, one of the players notices the vile creatures attached to the driver's head and screams in fear. He runs to the back of the bus, causing panic among the rest. Seeing the creature's final form and the destruction it might bring, Yanka decides to let go of the wheel and face her fate as the bus hits the road sign and explodes. The next day, the creature, who survived the bus crash, finally finds its way back into the ocean.